All right, welcome back. You'll recognize this guy from the TV, from HGTV. His name is Dave Wilson, and he hosts Masters of Flip. Here he is. Dave, how are you? Hey, I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's wonderful to have you here. Now, you're actually an Ottawa guy. I was born and raised in Ottawa and love coming back. Yeah, so how often do you get a chance to come back? I'm back a lot. My parents live here. Okay. So my mom has recently moved into a retirement home. Okay. And so I come up every three weeks to a month to visit her and hang That's out. That's wonderful. Yeah. Because, so you're based out of Nashville now. We are. Yeah. So my wife, who would normally be right here. Yeah. And dominating the conversation. Um, we met in Nashville 20 years ago and never left. Okay. How, does, how did the show come to be then? How many, how many years is the, has your HGTV show The HGTV, the we're in season, we're about to go into season three. Um, so we're about three years into it. Okay. And it's been a huge success, um, thanks to all the fans we have. So, yeah, so tell us uh, basically what, the, what the, the premise is of your show. So the premise of our show is to find ugly homes, fix them up, design, renovate, and sell. Okay. How difficult is that? That's got to be a bit of a challenge, though, especially when you're dealing with like the whole glamour of television and everything like that to find these homes and your it is. deadlines. Um, it's a challenge like any job, though. Everybody has a job that has challenges to it and then rewards. Ours are we have to find the right home at the right place um, where we can actually film it so it looks great. We have some challenges with filming and timing of it, mm -hmm. but it always ends up working out. Yeah, as, as it always ended up working out though, have you ever had a, a problem where the home is just like, we can't no. do this? Well, we've had many we can't do this moments, but we always get it done. It's, it's just some, some homes are a race to the finish line. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so tonight you're in town for the Ottawa Real Estate Investors Organization event. Yes. Um, so we're basically, what, what you'll be speaking, you'll be giving a workshop. What, I'm what gonna give tips on flipping. Okay. So the last time I did this event for them, it was more of an introduction to real estate, how I became in, involved in real estate, the show. Um, tonight is going to be strictly for, um, focused on how to find flips, how to finance them, the best solutions to problems you can come up with okay. when you get involved with flips, and it's going to be pretty good. Okay, so how did you get involved with flipping? Because you're a musician initially, right? But that's yes. Um, well, when I was a musician, I was signed, I was very fortunate to get a record deal. Mm -hmm. I was signed to Disney's country label, Lyric Street. Nice. And I thought I was, everything was going to be golden from now on. I had my record deal. Um, after 9-11, I lost my record deal, hmm. like many artists. And I realized the only thing on my resume was singer in a band. So I started waiting tables mm -hmm. and realized I wasn't a very good waiter yeah. or server, as they say now. Yes. Um, so we, Courtney and I took a real leap of faith, took all the equity out of our house. Now, don't ever do this. I would never <laughs> advise it. <laughs> yeah. But at the time, we were in a very hot market. Yeah. And I was desperate. And so I bought my very first house. And um, Courtney and I put in wallpaper, uh, a new sink, carpet, paint, and we replaced a few windows. And we sold it for a really good profit. Yeah. And we just kept going from there. So you found a love, obviously. Found a love. And it was crazy. It was like music. I was used to my whole life writing songs and creating something from nothing. The only difference is I was creating something from nothing with house flipping, mm -hmm. but actually getting paid in the end. Pretty cool. And it turns out that's important when you have children. Uh, yeah, that yeah. probably would be important, right? Yeah. You have to feed them and everything like that. Yeah. Them. Uh, <laughs> so w whenever you're, you're, you're flipping a home, like, how do you, how do you, what's the easiest way to do this? I mean, there's probably no easy way to flip a home, right? But if you were looking at a home and you're thinking, mm -hmm. I mean, what are you looking for to make it easy? I'm looking for the fastest way to complete the job. So. A lot of people think that they make money, they're, they're going to get into house flipping, they make money by doing the most extravagant features of the home. Mm -hmm. It's not. It is buying it for as low as you can, so you have equity already built into it, mm -hmm. and then turning it over to the new buyer as quick as you can, so it's off your books. Yes, so of course. That, and do, you have to do certain things to a home to bring it up to a place to flip, but you, there are different levels of that. What we do is full-on renovations. We're putting in high-end everything. You can flip a house with carpet and paint. They're still out there. Mm -hmm. The profit is just not as much. Uh, yeah, and I guess profit, though, is, is probably what you're aiming for the most, right? Yeah. Profit is. Yeah. Um, that's why you do it. That's why you work to make money. Um, what Courtney and I do with, with our business and on our show is show people that where we are and 
every area is different. So flipping a house in Ottawa is different than Toronto or Vancouver. Same with Nashville to Florida. Mm -hmm. What we do is we take these beautiful historic homes that have been abandoned and we add on to them. Mm -hmm. We make them modern but still have the, charm, the right? bones and charm of yeah. an old home. And I believe we're showing some of the homes uh, as well. So would this have been yes. one of the homes. So this is down in Nashville. This is down. This is three three blocks from where I live. Yeah. Um, and this was a cute little house that had uh, a lot of potential. And we bought the house, real thinking we could go up and out on the house, and we couldn't. So we had to re basically renovate it with the existing bones. That one was really tight to make a profit, but we did. Mm -hmm. And these other ones are all ones we we kept the integrity of the home, mm -hmm. but also added on square footage. What's the best part then? Like, what's the most satisfying part to, of whenever you flip that home, and, and you see the, the before and afters? The most satisfying part is knowing you've added value to not just our bank, um, but to a whole street. Yeah. So when a house that I bought for two hundred thousand dollars, after we've renovated, has sold for five hundred, everyone around that area, their house has now gone up in value. That's cool. That's so now you can slow, slowly see a lot of our homes. Um, they're all around our neighborhood, mm -hmm. and we've done about one hundred and twenty in our neighborhood. Very cool. So all these people, all our neighbors now, all their homes are go up in value, and they care about their homes now. All right, so you can be checked out tonight. The Auto Real Estate Investors Organization yes. is meeting at the Hellenic Meeting and Reception Center. 6.30 yes. it kicks off. Dave 6.30. Thank we'll you very there. much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for coming back to Ottawa and being on our show. Thanks for having me. You, added, you added star power. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. Well, Courtney usually brings that. Yeah, well, next yeah. time she'll be on the show next with time, us, right? Of course. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Right, Mother's Day brunch at uh, Grill 41. We'll find out more about that next on Daytime.